I was asked to participate. <laughs> Short poem. Who is the real criminal? It's hard to believe that there was a time in America when a man could be sentenced to a chain gang for selling farm produce within the city limits. That a black woman could be sentenced to hard labor for using abusive language towards a white man. It makes no sense, but there were no paying jobs after emancipation, and since it was a crime to be unemployed, newly freed men and women, or vagrants, were arrested, fined, and sentenced to months and years of hard labor on chain gangs and in prison farms to work off their fines with additional time tacked on to pay for their own upkeep. If we understand that the modern prison industrial complex was reinvented in the South by capitalists, elitists, and unreconstructed Southerners as a means to continue to provide uncompensated labor after the abolition of such, then we understand that slavery as an institution and as an idea never really ended. Redemption and forgiveness and the concept of paid in full should not be a privilege reserved for only the perfect few who never, ever make mistakes. If a man or a woman commits a crime, then serves their time, we should treat them like the returning citizens that they are. Not penalize them for their race, color, or previous condition of servitude. And if anyone would still insist on denying them that privilege, a right guaranteed by the 15th Amendment, then who is the real criminal?